Creating a design for your shop or your brand is one thing, but figuring out how to create marketing materials and promote your business is almost a separate art form altogether. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use and edit a multi-page, multi-artboard marketing template for you to create your own social ads and graphics to promote your products or your services. Now, first, we're gonna go over editing the initial template in Kittle to make four different social media ads for Instagram or Facebook. And from that initial template, then we'll make five variations of those ads with different products. Next, we will make a native carousel post for Instagram. And then I'm going to show you how to shift around all of the elements from the initial ad. And finally, we will finish by creating some website site banner graphics for your website. Maybe you have a Shopify or to use as email banners, maybe in a email newsletter. So what would normally take you hours to do on your own? We've already set up in templates for you to quickly edit and post. And by the end of this video, you'll be prepared to make stellar ads that convert. Now there will be a few places in this video where I time lapse a bunch of duplicating elements. So pay attention to the timestamps down below to find that section that you are looking for. Now we have some amazing Amazing templates here in Kittle that we actually made that you can see the Kittle account here. Now I'm going to use this one right here, the four social media Instagram ads. And you can see here, this is a thumbnail showing you a bunch of different ads. So you can see here, it's perfect for square, portrait, story, and landscape format. Now I'm going to use this design that I made, this retro mascot design. I've already used Kittle's mock-up feature to mock up this design on a variety of products. And I'm gonna remove the background from each one of them and show you exactly how to replace that initial ad with each one of these products. So let's go back and open up that ad template design now so I can click on use this design right here this thumbnail that's over here on the left side we don't need to be concerned with that was just kind of showing us what was in the project I'm actually gonna delete that so it's not distracting to us so you can just select that one and delete that thumbnail and so now we have our four main Instagram ads that we are going to be editing over in that other project I'm gonna grab all of these products I'm gonna hit command or control C and then in the other project command V or control Control V and so now you can see I've pasted all of those products from that initial template now first thing I'm gonna do is change summer sale to retro drop I'm not really doing so much of a sale as I'm doing uh, this is like a drop and so I'm gonna speed up through putting all of this text in here so now I've got retro drop everywhere and I'm actually gonna delete this hoodie this sweatshirt from all of these because I don't need it next thing I'm gonna do is change this to shop now you could leave this as order now I just like the word shop better for some reason so I'm gonna have all those say shop now and then I'm gonna put in this fake domain right milky the milkman.com or milky milkman whatever it is next I can go ahead and drag in my first product I'm gonna use my shirt as my first product and then what I'm gonna do is figure out exactly where I want to position this similar to how the other ad was now you can see there's some stuff here that's behind it I'm gonna grab all these and bring them to the front you can hold shift and select different elements together now I don't really like that as much so I'm gonna bring the shirt back to the front but then I'm gonna bring the 50% to the front which you can do by right-clicking and bringing elements to the front and the back and so now I'm adjusting my shirt and adding some drop shadow because it makes it seem a little bit more lifelike it makes it feel less kind of static or electronic it just gives it a little bit more depth and it kind of pops off of the page a little bit and so once I feel comfortable with that placement I can adjust anything else that I need to uh, for example um, the color palette so for all of this I'm not really sure I care for the dark purple and the pink but because we have this amazing color palette tool here in the bottom right of Kittle I can go and hover over any of these color palettes and choose one for example this one retro toy that I think could work and I can find one that best works for me now I I'm not entirely sure yet which one I want to go with but I think I'm gonna go with a darker kind of red and dark purple I think that uh, really complements the other colors that are in the shirt and so now I'm just duplicating that initial shirt design again holding the alter option key and dragging or command or control C and V and now what I can do is hold the shift key select all of my artboards 
I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key and drag. And now I have duplicated that ad so I can put in my next product. So you see I deleted all of the shirts. And so now I have my shorts that I'm going to put in and edit around, twist it, uh, figure out how exactly I want it. And then, boom, duplicate that same short element all the way across. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Grab all of the artboards, hold Alt or Option, and drag them down. Or you can hold all of them and Command C or Control C and V. And I'm doing the exact same process. So I am time lapsing through all of this, but it is the same duplicating process that you would do, which in total took me about 20 minutes to duplicate and edit all of these. Whereas if I was building all of these from scratch, it would have probably taken me several hours because I would have had to create the ad, I would have had to create all the different sizes for the ad, then I would have had to edit everything and uh, you know make all of the variations. And so that took me about 20 minutes in total to do all of that, just duplicate it and make sure I have everything where I want it to go. Now what we're doing is grabbing the first post, that first square post from every single uh, line of ads, and I'm putting together an Instagram carousel because I want this to be a native post. So I have our ads that are over there on the left, but on the right are gonna be our static kind of initial posts that we put on our own feed. So then I'm going to duplicate the first one, and the first one is gonna be kind of our main thumbnail uh, attractive kind of viewership that we that we want to attract attract people to view. So what I'm going to do is actually duplicate all of the products over into this first initial uh, thumbnail. So I'm going to grab the shorts, the tote bag, the tumbler, the coffee cup. I'm going to grab it all. I'm going to put it over here in the first one as the retro drop. So I'm just, again, duplicating and moving these things around so that we can set ourselves up for success. And so what I'm gonna do is actually change all of the rest of this text to the literal thing that it is. So I just changed everything to say milk shirt or milk shorts or milk whatever. I'm just putting milk in front of it. Uh, this is all placeholder text. Obviously you're gonna be, you're gonna think about this a little bit harder than I am right now. But after we feel pretty good about that, what I'm gonna do is actually make a CTA uh, post at the end of the carousel and I don't want shop now on every single slide So I'm actually going to delete all of those shop nows from the intermediate uh, Slides and what I'm going to do is come up with some kind of funny silly text that talks about the uh, that talks about the actual product. So on my first initial one, I changed shop now to now live. And now I'm just duplicating some text and I'm going to come up with an idea for each individual product. So this first product is a uh, shirt. And so I'm going to say uh, perfect for wearing or perfect for wearing around or impressing your, your friends or something like that. Uh, some kind of text that again, you might think a little bit harder about to uh, talk about your product or show what your product is. Uh, and this also just kind of helps fill that space on the left side. And then all I want to do is replicate this process. I'm just going to duplicate this text and put it on each one of these different slides. So I'm just holding the alter option key and dragging it over to my next artboard. So you can see I just did that same thing. And now I can just click in that text that I've already set to the correct size. And I'm just going to iterate on this. So that one is perfect for wearing at the gym uh, and remembering to be strong or getting strong or something like that. And so that's what I'm gonna do with this text right here. And then we are just going to rinse and repeat this process to make sure that we have text for every single product product. And as for this last slide, we're going to leave shop now here and we are going to uh, make this a little bit stronger of a CTA. So we had that now live uh, with the website. Their website is actually on every single slide, but we're going to make this a little bit stronger of a CTA by rewarding people that get all the way to the end and giving them like something a little bit extra. So obviously uh, I just left the 50% off on this. So I guess our drop is going to be 50% off, but what I thought might, might be nice and make it a little bit stronger is if we give uh, a redemption code. So if you have your own Shopify, or even if you're using a, a a Etsy store or something, you can create a promo code that uh, initiates people to want to go and buy. So I'm going to do use promo code milky uh, to get free shipping. So I thought actually very specifically about this to make sure I didn't say uh, to get an extra 10% off because a lot of times sites don't like when you try to use multiple percentage offs uh, off 
coupons. So what I did here was use promo code Milky for free shipping. So now that's a pretty amazing deal. 50% off plus free shipping sounds pretty awesome. So after we get this lined up exactly how we want to be, I'm actually going to get rid of this initial text here and I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the products here. And so the same thing we did for that first one, we're just going to grab all of these products from that first thumbnail slide and just copy them over. So now I've grouped all of these together. I'm going to hit command C. I'm going to hit command V or again, control C, control V. I'm going to paste them here on this last slide. I actually like that it's behind the little wave uh, shape down there at the bottom now. So I'm going to leave it like that and just move some of these elements around to fill the overall space. Now you might have more products, you may have less products, you may just have one product and that's totally fine. Whatever you want to iterate on is perfectly fine. Now the last thing we're going to do is make a website banner graphic. So whether you're going to use this as like a hero banner or if you want this to just be a slide on your website, I think it would be good to prepare some materials for that, especially if you do have your own Shopify or if you have an email list. So all I'm doing here is grabbing these two little wave, uh, these little curved icons down here and I'm just making them a little bit bigger. I'm going to move over our grouped section of t-shirts and products and things like that and then all I'm gonna do here is just formulate this to make sense in a uh, horizontal left to right style so I'm gonna put shop now because the idea would be on my website if I were to click that or cl what is a big image uh, you would be able to go straight to the products right so that's the idea is that someone comes to your shop they come from seeing the Instagram ad or they come from seeing the Instagram post or Facebook post or whatever it was. They see this front and center right at the beginning of your website. They click that shop now and it takes them right to the products. And of course, in your ads, for each of the individual slides we made above, over there on the left, if each one of them has a shop now, each one of them could go to a different link, for example. So the shirt could go to the shirt, the shorts could go to the short. Those are things you kind of have to set up in the back end of your ad platform. But in this case, we're creating this one main graphic for our website so that if we click shop now on that image, it is going to take us right to the product page uh, to view all of the products. So all I've done here is copied some paste and I'm going to put a limited release again, creating some sense of urgency. So a lot of this is definitely what it looks like, making sure the layout is nice, making sure that everything is cohesive because you want all of the ad branding or the campaign branding to be the same. You want them to look the part together, but also creating a sense of urgency like, hey, this is a limited release of the products. Uh, you know, maybe this is a mascot that you've used before or the design you've made is, is, is similar. Uh, and then from here, what we're going to do is try to find out the best use of space. So I was trying out a couple of different options and I was thinking some subtext might be better, but I didn't really care for that. So I put the 50% off a lot bigger uh, because I just felt like that was the most important. So then the very, very last thing that I'm going to do is actually just duplicate this website banner graphic and make it a little bit thinner. So maybe you don't necessarily want it as your header image on your Shopify or your Squarespace, or maybe you're trying to make something for your Etsy shop and it needs to be actually a little bit thinner. And so I figured we could just do the same exact thing, uh, but make everything just a little bit smaller, bring it over a little bit closer together and then keep everything else pretty much the same. So I'm just moving uh, the shop now to be a little bit smaller uh, and I'm going to take that 50% off and I'm going to move it around to try and find an area where I think makes most sense. I wasn't sure about leaving it somewhere close to the center, big and front and center, uh, but I'm not really sure that that is the best use of space. So we're actually going to uh, move this bottom curved area up and then make our products just a little bit bigger to fill space on the right. And then I felt like the 50% off still felt like it was floating. So I gave it a little turn and put it over the products itself. And I think that that feels pretty good. So after that, all you have to do is hit shift zero and you can take a look back at all of your work, all of the work that you just did in literal minutes versus the hours it would take you to do in another program or another software. So I decided to take a look at what these would appear like on, for example, Instagram here. I can see what different background colors would like. Uh, then I took the website banner graphic and, and mocked that up to see what it would look like if you went and visited the website. And I thought those looked pretty good. Now you can check out some of the other social ad templates or social media post templates in Kittle to find a style that 
best fits you or your niche or your brand. I went with a more retro, slightly whimsical style in this video because I felt like that best fit the product with the retro mascot I was using. But if you are designing something like a streetwear style or maybe a bohemian style or anything else, you can find it in Kittle and edit those templates exactly the same way that I showed you in this video. Now, let me know in the comments, what other types of marketing material do you want to see in Kittle? Are there templates for different uses or use cases that you haven't found? And if so, let me know exactly what those use cases are down below and we will take a look. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos just like this one and don't forget to check out some of the other amazing videos we have on the channel thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one